This is weird, right? If you're a good woman, then surely no man would ever want to leave you. Every ex or past flame should be queuing up to be with you because you are a good woman. Well, sometimes we can give the right love to the wrong person, which means actually, unfortunately, they have to vacate. Plus, there are a few other reasons why men leave good women every day. Some of them make sense, some of them doesn't make sense. Some of them have to do with us. And we're gonna go through some of those reasons right now. Before we get into that though, you know I love having my one-to-one -one sessions with you guys. Some of you have been reaching out. Some of you have been making progresses that I've been working with the past few months. So if you wanna get your first session, just click the link below. So the first reason why a guy may leave a good woman is that he doesn't want to waste her time. He may clearly see you as wife material, but he's not at a point where he's looking for a wife. Maybe he's at a point where he's wanting to play the field, have fun, go with the party girls, go with the promiscuous girls, all of this stuff. So in a weird way, if he is a half decent man, he will actually leave you alone. Because a guy who is actually more selfish will lead you on to get what he wants until he gets bored. And that's exactly the kind of guy that we want to stay away from. We want to choose people who are honest with us, no matter if they're for us or not. Now this next thing is more of a reflection of the kind of relationship you had with him. A big reason why men leave good women is because he didn't feel like the man with her. The biggest truth is that men like to feel like the man. They like to feel like the alpha dog, right? And the harsh reality is that for 90% of men in their environments and in their circles of society, they don't feel like the alpha dog. Not everybody can be the alpha, but the woman who can make the average guy feel like an alpha when he's with her, that is the woman he is going to run back to every single time. That is the woman he is going to stay for. So you can have all these great women who have amazing qualities as human beings and as individuals, but when it comes to being in a relationship, they're more testing him to see if he's the alpha instead of encouraging him to be the alpha. And men like to feel like the man. Even if he isn't seen as the man by most people's eyes, he wants to feel and be seen as one by his woman. Yeah, the male ego is a thing. That's why when we see a man that most women would class as very desirable, and then they see this same guy with a woman that they would say isn't on his level, especially when they feel like they are. A big reason why he may have chosen to invest in her is usually because she makes him feel like the man, regardless of what level she may or may not be on. Because here's the thing, even if it's her that actually runs the relationship, she makes him think that it's him. That's how good you guys can be. It's like, you know when they dropped the handkerchief in the olden days, you know, when a woman was sitting at a bar with her friends and then maybe a guy walked in that she liked the look of and as he walked past, she would just drop that handkerchief and then, you know, he would pick it up, he would look at her, he would see her beauty that he didn't notice when he walked in and then he would start talking to her. And then, you know, fast forward a few years later, they're talking about how they met and he's like, yeah, 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 you know, like I saw her and then I just started talking to her. When in actual fact, nah, my guy, she chose you, right? She led you to that. As a woman, you're very emotionally capable and very emotionally smart, especially compared to men. The trick is to make your man feel good while guiding him to the things that you want. And I think sometimes we can focus so much on trying to tell our partner what we want them to do, that when actuality, if we focused more on making them feel good, then those things they would want to do naturally, because if you make them feel good, they want to make you feel good. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't me saying that you are responsible for his emotions within the relationship because every one of us is responsible for our own emotions. But people go where they feel loved and appreciated and feel good. So it's only in your own interest to make him feel this way. Another reason why men leave good women is that he feels that he can't afford you. He feels that maybe the lifestyle that you live, he cannot provide that for you and he can't live up to that, right, for whatever reason. And maybe you've expressed the kind of family you want to have, maybe you've expressed the kind of area you want to live in and he's thinking, wow, she's great, but this is a lot of pressure and I actually can't provide that for her. Like honestly, I've talked to a few guys where they started dating this girl or they saw this girl's lifestyle and while he really liked her, he was like, eventually she's going to leave me because I can't give her what she's already getting. So it's almost a defense mechanism. He doesn't want to get tied in too deep because 
because eventually he thinks that she's gonna leave him for a man who's just on a higher level than him, which is every man's worst fear. I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong, I'm just saying this is the case that some guys go through. Which kind of ties into the next reason why a lot of men leave good women is that he doesn't feel that he is good enough for you. And I don't mean good enough in a financial economic sense, though that does play a part. But what I mean is if you are very virtuous, a very moral person, you know, you choose to do the right thing instead of doing the easy thing. You hold yourself to a standard, you hold yourself accountable, but you also do that for the people around you. And you may have standards, but you are very fair. For some people, being with someone like that is a constant reminder that maybe they're not being the best version of themselves. That maybe they've made some horrible decisions in their past or they continue to make horrible decisions and they've been avoiding it for as long as possible. They've never had to come to terms with it. So essentially, they feel bad being around someone who's good. It makes them feel guilty about themselves. Now, it's not your job to become a worse person just to make them feel better. And ordinarily, you would think that for some people, if they're around people who are maybe a good example, that they would want to improve in themselves, that they would want to start making better choices, that they would want to become more virtuous, more moralistic. But sometimes when people don't want to work, they run. They run from accountability and they run away from anything that may reflect what their weaknesses are. This has nothing to do with you and has everything to do with them, which means it's best for you that they left. If you're looking for a guy who sparks up your love life, make sure you subscribe to this wonderful tribe. And as always, keep it slick. Pow.